Good afternoon. For me, the time of Lent is always a reflection on the Passion Week. I chose the following verse from the Gospel of John. The Gospel of John is always a favorite of mine. From John chapter 10, verses 17 through 18, Jesus said, The reason why my Father loves me is that I lay down my life, that I may take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own free will. I have full authority to take it up again. I have received this charge from my Father. William Barclay, in his commentary on the Gospel of John, entitles the section on this passage, Love's Choice. I love that title. In this passage, Jesus spoke of the relationship between himself and God. However, much of the conflict between Jesus and the Pharisees was because of the Jewish religious leaders' refusal to accept that Jesus was the Son of God. Jesus saw his entire life as an act of obedience to God and completing the task that God had given him. Barclay goes on to state that Jesus saw the cross and the resurrection together. He never doubted that he would die, but he also never doubted that he would rise again from the dead. In Matthew seventeen twenty three, he shared these words with his disciples. The Son of Man is going to be betrayed into the hands of men. They will kill him, but he will rise again to life. This passage from John assures us that Jesus' death was voluntary and willing. Though he did pray in the Garden of Gethsemane that if it was God's will that this cup would be of suffering would be taken away. He willingly accepted the cross for us and the world's salvation. Sally Lloyd-Jones, in her lovely rendition of her children's Bible, the Jesus Storybook Bible, she frequently refers to Jesus as the great rescuer. I think there's no better way to think of Christ than this. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the word in written form and incarnate form, your Son, Jesus Christ. You have bestowed on us great blessings and much love in the sacrificial death of your Son. May our lives and words bear witness to this. But more importantly, may we demonstrate the love of Jesus as he taught us through his perfect love. In our Redeemer's name we pray. Amen.